The Brigmars were an ancient family, bankrupted a generation ago. Since then, the manor has housed two street gangs, a smuggling ring, innumerable rats, and the Brigmore witches. I'd always left them alone, but now a painter named Delilah had taken up witchcraft and formed a coven. She was trying something. A ritual. But what kind? The outsider knows. I cannot abide a mystery. I scouted, sir. They've locked the front, and I've seen evidence of snares. Also, maybe it's nothing. But I spotted several statues of the woman Delilah. I don't know what it means, but I thought it was worth mentioning. It means trouble. Anything else? They're getting in and out of the house somehow, but I haven't spotted it. Sorry, sir. Best I can do. Good enough. I'll take it from here. district was run down.
So Delilah wants to use Emily to become Empress. Resourcefulness. She is not alone. Not entirely. The statues. Of course. They're more than statues. She's put her will in them. And in the void, their power is much greater. Do not fret, sweet Tilda. Lady Delilah needs you to be strong and steadfast. This is no time to wilt like a summer daisy. I won't. Forgive me, sister. You're right. You have many talents, Dowd, and they've served you. Delilah's talents are quite different. She creates images, but she does more. She captures spirit. She insinuates her will into her subject, whatever it is. We're witnessing her masterpiece, and perhaps yours as well. I gave you Delilah's name, and you followed it to this moment. You see now what hangs in the balance. Emily's life, Delilah's ambition, an empire in the act of crumbling. In your long life, I've rarely seen you act with such consummate grace. I give my mark sparingly, and I don't play favorites. But I will watch this with unusual attention. The Void. Time to see what you've really got, Delilah.
Emily Caldwin, daughter of Jessamine Caldwin, heir to the Empire of the Isles. I call out to you from the void. I call you with ochre from Morley, carmine beetle shells, Conan Lazurite, Viridian Vile. The tones of your flesh I tempered with Pandician chalk. The same loom that spun the fabric of your dresses made this canvas. I made my brushes from the hairs of your own scalp. Emily, you cannot ignore me. My power is too deep. My reach too long. Brush touches void. And now I see you, Emily Colby. I breathe your breath. I can feel what you do. Bright mornings in the pub. I feel the cold night air of the ruin where you sleep. And the stink of the river. English strikes the eye. I touch the mind. The mind touches the world. You love the corridor of time and your lost mother. For your caretaker, Callista, I feel your fear in the night. Your hunger to learn, to become someone important. My hunger. My fear. You are becoming mine. We are nearly finished. Close your eyes, Emily. Sleep forever. Feel the void open beneath you. Make room for me. Give in to me, Emily. Give in to me now. Paint flows. Blood flows. Life goes. Bones long enough, sweet young girl. It is complete. I am. What? What's happening? This is all wrong. What am I becoming? Outsider blood. Is this some trick? Go! No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider, who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Circonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer, one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. for you. I asked for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. 
Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. You make an eloquent plea for a man with innocent blood on his hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you passed through Cold Ridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out unscathed, outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwin, daughter of the Empress, first of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for Dowd, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now.